it's Jay, and we're talking again about tobacco. In our last video, we talked about the plant itself and about the labor that goes into producing it. But today we're going to focus on where it all gets started with the tobacco seed. So when we're talking about tobacco and the, the crop that sort of powers Virginia's economy for hundreds of years, where does it all start? Tobacco starts right in here with the seeds that the plant produces. And for centuries, people had told this apocryphal story about John Rolfe smuggling tobacco seeds out of Trinidad in the heel of his boot. Very exciting. I've never run across any indication that that's actually what happened. We know that by the time they come to Jamestown, they're already growing tobacco in England. And so while it's not nearly as exciting, Rolfe probably just picked up his seeds from a farmer someplace in England and brought them with him to Virginia. Uh, but once they got here, tobacco is going to take on a life of its own, and it all starts with these little guys right here. This is not actually a tobacco seed. This is a tobacco seed pod. There are hundreds of seeds inside this thing, and they'll be harvested about this time of year, late summer, sometimes as early as, as August, sometimes maybe into the first little bit of September. The tobacco seeds are found in these dried pods, and then you take them, you spread them out, you dry them, uh, and they have to be, we're told, preserved carefully so that they don't fall to the predation of insects, birds, and rats, all of which will apparently eat them. Uh, we know that there are bugs that eat them, certainly, because many of the pods that you see on the plant here have already got little holes in them where the tobacco bud worms have gotten in and eaten the seeds out of the thing. You'll still get a few out of a, a pod, but usually they, they clean them almost entirely out. The seeds are tiny. How small? It takes approximately 5,039,400 seeds to make a pound. They're, they're incredibly small. Just how small are we talking? Those are tobacco seeds. And each pod will produce something on the order of hundreds. In just one growing season, they go from that tiny little seed to a plant that in some cases is taller than me. They, they talk about tobacco being as much as uh, two yards tall, so about six feet. And as it grows, the plant will produce these seeds. Now, early on in the process, you can see here, we have a, a flower head that has not yet gotten started. So we've just got those little buds forming, the flowers are inside. Once those flowers come out and get pollinated, they form the buds at the, the bottom will swell, and that's where your seed pods become. We can see on this one here, the little flower bit is still attached to that pod. So as the, uh, the seeds swell, uh, the plant starts to put more of its energy into producing seeds than producing leaves. So normally, a tobacco planter is going to allow a few plants to produce seed, but the vast majority of the plants are going to be topped, uh, as we've discussed in our other tobacco video, so that the plant will concentrate its energy on producing big, fat, marketable leaves.
If you liked this video, click like, subscribe, and share.